doing? What have we got here? Pumpkins! When I was little, we were going to have a Halloween party. Tig, we are going to have a Halloween party. What's a Halloween party? What's a Halloween party, Mummy? I said. Scary. <laughs> no, fun. Halloween is a party people have been having for hundreds of years and everyone gets to dress up in funny clothes. A Halloween party is where everyone dresses up in funny clothes, fun. said Mummy. Right, pumpkin time. The first thing that we did for the Halloween party was make pumpkin lanterns. We took the middle out of the pumpkin and Daddy made pumpkin pie. We made a face in the pumpkin. Nose, eyes, mouth. Ooh, scary. No, funny face. Silly daddy. Tig, what are you going to dress up as for Halloween? What do you want to dress up as? Said Mummy. You can be anything you like. A spaceman, a fairy. A bubble bug monster. A bubble bug monster, I said. What's a bubble bug monster? A monster with lots of bubbles. Mummy helped me make the Bobble Bug Monster. When Angel came to play, she helped me make my Bobble Bug Monster too. What are you dressing up as for Halloween, Angel? said Mummy. So, what are you going to wear for Halloween, Angel? I don't know. Mm, a surprise. That's a I'm not time. sure yet, said Angel. We were having the Halloween party in a bag Big room. We are going to have to make this place all scary. Scary and fun. We're mm. going to make the room into Halloween. At one end of the room, Daddy made a castle. The castle was very old. Angel came along to help too. We put the pumpkins all around the room. What are you dressing up as for Halloween? said Daddy. Angel, what are you going to get dressed up as? Mm, I don't know. Oh, that's brilliant. Surprise, surprise. On the day of Halloween, I dressed up as my bobble bug monster. Wow, I don't think there are going to be many bobble bug monsters. Daddy had made some little wings for Willy, so he could dress up too. Don't forget, Willy has to dress up too. Right, off we go. Come on, Tig. At the Halloween party, everyone came dressed up. It was fun. There were lots of monsters, fairies, ghosts, witches, pirates. Daddy didn't really have a costume. Daddy was just sort of ordinary. Mummy was a sparkly witch. I didn't see Angel. Gather round. Gather round, because... Daddy told us a scary story. A scary, scary story. A fairy <laughs> cried. Right, no more scary. Halloween is scary. You're OK. No more scary, said <laughs> Mummy. No more scary, Daddy. No more scary, said the bubble bug monster. Then Mummy yes. said, look who's arrived. I thought it was Angel. But it wasn't. Mr. Jack O' Lantern! It was Mr. Jack O' Lantern, the trick or treat man. <laughs> Witches and monsters, hello! We all had to hello. do a trick for Mr. Jack O' Lantern. Oh. Oh. Keep going, keep doing it. And then he gave us a treat. There you go. I was so excited. Oh! I'd practice my very own Bubble Bug Monster Stomp. My turn came, but then I saw another Bubble Bug Monster. It was Angel. I sat under a table. How dare Angel copy me? I'm the Bubble Bug Monster. Hey, Tig. It's not nice when you think you're the only bubble bug monster and then you see another one. It's not nice when people copy you. When people copy you, it can feel like someone has taken something from you. But then when people copy you, 
You can fiddle, please, too. When people copy you, it shows you how much they like the things you do. Angel just loved your bubble bug monster. Angel loved your bubble bug monster so much. She wanted to be a bubble bug monster too. You can feel pleased Angel copied you. You can feel pleased you helped Angel choose her dressing up. And hey, two monster bubble bugs are better than one. So go for it, Tig. Don't be grumpy. Go and have fun with your bubble bug chum. Yes, I thought. I'm pleased that Angel likes my bubble bug monster. Monster stomp. Angel and me did a bubble bug monster stomp together for Mr. Jack o' Lantern. We got his treats. After that, Mr. Jack o' Lantern did lots of party games. Sweeten those marshmallows. Eating the marshmallow. Knocking off the witch's hat. Oh. Oh. It's time to wrap up the mummy. Oh, or should I say, a daddy? <laughs> Wrapping up the mummy. We wrap daddy up in old wrapping paper. Pinning the bow tie on the skeleton. And then we did the scary monster stomp. Halloween was so much fun. At the end of the party, all the monsters and witches and fairies went home. We went home too. Bobble Bug Monster Bedtime. Retired Bobble Bug Monster. No, I said, I didn't want Halloween to end. I still wanted to be a monster. Okay, take pajamas on. I didn't want to go to bed. Run! Hey, Tig, we've had so much Halloween fun. We don't want to spoil it. Maybe it's time to stop the rules? I, but I like being a monster. I like being a monster too. But even monsters have to go to bed. Wee! I like a lot of monsters. Oh, yes, I do. Spotty ones and hairy ones, one eye or two. They squelch around in wellies, they make me laugh. And some are rather smelly, they need a bath. They wobble, roar and squabble, and they bump their tums. But I really, really like my monster chums. But monsters are for daytime fun and not when bedtime comes. So when I sleep my happy night, so do my monster chums. Night, night, monsters, not one roar. Snuggle down comfy and please don't snore. Night, night, monsters, not one peep, snuggle down, come fee and go to sleep. Yes, I thought. I've had the best Halloween, but now is bedtime. I close my eyes. When I opened my eyes again, I was no longer a monster. I was in my pyjamas. To bed for the bubble monster. Not a bubble monster, just me. <gasps> it's only a toy spider, a <gasps> silly dragon. Oh, come on then. I like Halloween and I love Wooly. We've been scared since we were me. The clown. When I was little, my mummy took me to a big, big shopping centre. Willie came too. Mummy gave me some money. Well, let's see what I've got in my hand. <gasps> Choose something to buy, she said. A shiny penny, so you can spend that on something. There were lots and lots of shops in the shopping centre. I 
didn't know what to choose. Let's not spend it too quickly though. Let's see what else we can see. In the shopping centre, oh, there was a lady is. painting faces. She painted a little boy to look like a cat. Mummy said, why not spend your money on a painty face? No, I said. I didn't want to look like a cat. High above all the people rushing, I saw balloons. There we go. I want to buy a balloon, I said. Hi. Let's go and find them, said Mummy. <gasps> oh, look, Tig! A man was holding the balloons. Isn't he funny, said Mummy. He's a clown. I didn't think the clown was funny. The clown was scary. He had a big rubbery face and a red nose. I didn't like the scary clown. I want to go home, I said. Come on, said Mummy. Let's have something to eat. Whee! I like the cafe. There is no clown. Mummy bought me fish fingers. Mmm. Would you like some ketchup? I had tomato sauce. Down below I saw the clown. The clown looked up and waved. I don't like clowns. Hey Tig, you don't have to like clowns. Clowns are just people with painty faces. Anybody can be a clown. You could be a clown. I could be a clown. Some people think clowns are scary. Some people think clowns are funny. <laughs> Look, that painty-faced clown is making everyone laugh. Hey Tig, why don't you be a painty-faced clown and make everyone laugh too? Go for it, Tig. Yes, I thought. I want to be a painty face clown too. Let's go. I finished my fish fingers. I asked Mummy if I could give my money to the face painting lady. I haven't seen you doing ever so well. The face painting lady? Painted my face like a clown. Oh, wow, that's yeah. so sparkly. I think you're a very funny clown. Thank you very much. Mummy laughed, and everyone laughed when they saw me looking like a painty face clown. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the clown. He wasn't scary. He looked just like me. The clown gave me a balloon. When the clown saw Willy, he was scared. <laughs> He's only my toy spider, I said. I like clowns. I love Willy. We've been scared since we were here. The play. When I was little, I liked going to see plays. It was exciting. People dressed up and did funny things. I wanted to be in a play too. Once I was going to be in a play at nursery. I was going to dress up as a king. But then I had chicken pox, so I couldn't be in the play. What? A lady called Cinderella. One day, Mummy said they were choosing children to be in a play. The children's theatre are auditioning for children to play the toy soldiers. Do I get to dress up? Yeah, but they have to choose the children first. Yippee! Yippee! I said, I'd like to be a toy soldier and dress up in a play. On the day of the choosing, I was very excited. We went to the children's theatre. There were lots of other children. There you are. Let's get in there. Right. 
Uh, Mr. Tonka? Mr. Tonka's there over on the piano. Mr. Tonka was on the piano. He had to march like toy soldiers. It was fun. I loved the marching. When can I dress up? I said to Mummy. We have to wait for the choosing tag. When we were waiting, the man talked to Mummy. And then we went away. Mummy and me went to a little cafe. Why can't I be a toy soldier, Mummy? Mummy, why will I be a toy soldier? I'm sorry, Tig. But they didn't choose you to be a toy soldier. I'm sorry, Tig. But they didn't choose you. The thing is, they need the toy soldiers to be a little bit taller. The toy soldiers need to be a bit taller than you. You wait there, I'll get us a good treat. I was sad. I wanted to be in a play. Hey, Tig. It's not nice when other people are chosen, and not you. That's not fair, Willie. Yes, it doesn't seem fair. You wanted to be in a play. You wanted to be a toy soldier, but not everyone can be chosen all at the same time. Sometimes you just have to wait and try again and have another go. You might not be a toy soldier this time, but hey, there are plenty more plays and dressing up. When one door closes, bang, another door will open. Yippee! So go for it, Tig. Don't be sad. You just never know what's around the corner. Yes, I thought. I was sad I couldn't be a toy soldier, but you never know what's around the corner. Just then, someone came round the corner. Hi, Tam. How are you? Oh, all the better for seeing you too. Hello, Tig. Hi. It was a man Hello. called Tam. Oh, bit of a disaster. Oh, dear. Opening tomorrow, Elves and the Shoemaker at the Children's Theatre. Tam was doing a children's play, The Elves and the Shoemaker. One of the elves has chicken pox. But one of the elves had chicken pox. I wondered, would you like to be an elf? Do I need to dress up? Oh, yes, as an elf. OK. I was in a play. It's a bit of a rush, though. Rehearsals this afternoon. I was so excited. In the afternoon, Tam showed me what to do on the stage. This is Louise now. She's the other um, elf. I know you know Louise. Louise. Of course you do. Right now, so what? She's one of the elves and you're the other elf. My friend Louise was another elf. And Tam was the shoemaker. The two elves run onto the stage. When the shoemaker grows old, said Tam, the elves make his shoes. Tam showed us how to make the shoes. Ready, ready. And snip, 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 cutting the leather. Stitch, 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 sewing together. Tip, tip, tap. He was so clever to make a fine pair of shoes. We practised a lot. Tam gave me music for the play. I practised the play at home. Stitch, stitch, stitch. Tip, tip, tap. So clever to break a bag of shoes. The next day was the day of the play. Louise and me did our dressing up. We had ears on our hats. We looked different. We looked like elves. It was nearly time for the play. Mummy took me to the stage. Mummy didn't quite know the way. When we got to the stage, it was the wrong stage. There was a funny man doing another play. Here we are, Ted. This is the wrong stage. No, Ted, that's Tam. That's not Tam. That is Tam. I was going to be late. I had to find Tam. Then I found Daddy. Suddenly, the funny man started to sing. Hey, the once was a maker, a maker of shoes, a shoemaker making his shoes. His play was like ours. I liked it. I knew all the words. Then Daddy said, I should be on the stage. What are you doing here? That's not Tom. Yes, it is. You're supposed to be up there on the stage. But where was Tam? So clever to make fine pairs of shoes. Hey, Tig, 
people in plays can look different because they dress up. People in plays look different because they put makeup on. People in plays look different because sometimes they wear different hair. I look different, you look different, and Tam looks different. You look different because you are dressed up as a cheeky wee elf. Tam looks different because he's the shoemaker with his glasses, moustache and hair. Well, the clever shoemaker, the older he grew, the slower he's making his shoes. That's Tam on stage. Time for the elves to make the shoemaker his shoes. Go for it, Tig. Yes, I thought. That is Tam. I should be on stage with him. We waited for the shoemaker to peep. Then we could be elves. That dozy shoemaker, he woke from his snooze and looked at the work on his shoes. The leather was tapped and stitched and sewed, shaping fine shoes from heels to toes. A pair of shoes, the best to choose. But who had been making his shoes? Stitch, 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 sewing together. Tick, tick, tap, shaping the leather. Shoes, shoes, shoes. Who is so clever to make fine pairs of shoes? But who did the sewing and stitched? He worked and he slipped, but at night did not sleep. Keeping awake, he took a peep. Me and Louise were making the shoemaker his shoes. We were the elves. Stitch, 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 sewing together. Tip, tip, tap, shaping the leather. Zip, zip, zip. They were so clever, the elves were making shoes. A maker, a maker of shoes, a shoemaker making his shoes. He worked with the elves and he snipped and they sold, shaping new shoes from heels to toes, making fine shoes and hairs to choose. A shoemaker, elves and their shoes. Snip, 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 cutting the leather, stitch, 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 sewing together. Tip, 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 tap. Tap. They were so clever to make fine pairs of shoes. Oh. the play, everyone clapped. When everyone saw Willy, they all went, ah! It's only a toy spider. He's only my toy spider, I said. I like the elves and the shoemaker. I like being in a play. I love Willy. We've been together since we were kids. Timmy's Monsters. When I was little, my friend Timmy came to play. Timmy can draw monsters. I can draw monsters too, but they're not as scary as Timmy's monsters. Timmy can roar like a monster. Roar! <laughs> I can roar like a monster too. <laughs> I like monsters. I like Timmy's monsters. Bulgy monsters. Hairy monsters. Blue monsters. <laughs> That's scary. And lots of red monsters. <laughs> we had fun stomping and roaring. I think if the monsters were a little quieter, they might have some juice. I love monsters. When it was time for Timmy to go home, he gave me lots of his monsters. Thank you, Timmy. I love Timmy's monsters. And night, night time. At night time, I put Timmy's monsters under my bed. At night, the monsters roared! Ra, ra, ra! All right. The monsters woke me up! Oh, there are no monsters. They're just pictures, look. Mummy said the monsters were just pictures. 
Oh no God. more monsters. <laughs> Mummy took Timmy's monsters away. Really wants a wee cuddle. Good girl. And left the light on. I cuddled Willy. The next day I wanted to play monsters. But Mummy had thrown the monsters in the bin. I asked Mummy for my monsters. Mummy, can I get my monsters? No, Tig, they're too noisy. Please. Mummy said the monsters were too noisy. They're just pictures, I said. Mummy said, OK. But no more roaring tonight in bed. I showed Willie my monsters. I didn't think Willie liked my monsters. No, Tig, I just don't like monsters at night. They wake me up. They wake us all up. Hmm. So, Tig, why don't we make your monsters just daytime monsters? Yeah! <laughs> there. One daytime monster. Now, at night, all the monsters need to go to bed. So we make the monster a nice comfy bed. <laughs> one comfy bed and one monster asleep. Night, night, monster. Sleep well. Night time came and all the monsters were put to bed. Night, night, monsters. Look. Night, night, monsters. There they are, all going to bed, all tucked up, ready to sleep. Mummy was about to sit on the bed when she nearly sat on Wooly. It gave her a surprise. What was that? <laughs> I'm a toy spider. You're a toy spider. Night, night, Mummy. Night, night, Wooly. That night we all slept happily. I like my daytime monsters. I love Wooly. We've been together since we were three. Echoes. When I was little, me and my friend Timmy went to visit a castle. Wooly came too. Daddy knocked on the door, but no one answered. Oops, I think we got the wrong time. We'll come back later, let's go and have a wee play, come on. The castle's closed. We have to wait. The castle had a big, tall tower. Up there is the castle tower. Yeah, soldiers used to be up there. That tower's for soldiers, said Timmy. Timmy marched like a soldier, and I copied him. Time to march into the castle, said Daddy. A man opened the door for us. Hello, can we come and see the castle? Uh, yes, please come inside, yes. Come on then. Thank you. Inside the castle, it was empty. Just walls. It smelt funny. And this is, I see the fireplace. The fire would rise and smoke would come out the chimney up there. Be careful on the steps. Timmy found a little room. It was a friendly little room with cupboards on the wall. I wonder what's in this door. Hmm. I like the little friendly room. Yeah. Look, there's a wee window, right? Can we go up the tower, please? Can we go up the tower? Said Timmy. Of course, said Daddy. Timmy opens a big door. Ooh. I heard a woo. I didn't like the woo. Daddy said the woo was Timmy. It's just an echo, OK? Don't be scared. I didn't like the echo. I was frightened. I ran back to the little friendly room. Hey, Tig. New things can be scary and strange. And there's lots of new strange things in a big old castle like this. Strange smells, strange rooms, and strange sounds. Hey, Tig, that woo sounded strange. That woo sounded scary. Woo! 
But that woo was just Timmy having fun. In a big old empty castle like this, sounds sound different because they echo. Cooey! It sounds like someone is copying me. No one's copying me. That's just my echo sound. I made it. And you can have fun making echoes too. Woo! 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 So go for it, Tig. There's no woos behind that door, only the woos that you and Timmy make. Yes, I thought. No need to be scared. Just silly echoes. Come on. I want to go up the tower. Daddy opened the door into the woo room. There were no woos. Until me and Sammy had fun making woos. We made lots of other echo sounds. Hello! Then Daddy took us up the tower. We went up some tiny stairs that went round and round and up and up. At the top of the stairs was the top of the tower. Timmy marched round the tower. When Timmy saw Willy, ah! he was a scaredy woo. It's only a toy spider. I like the old castle. I like funny woos. I love Willy. We've been together since we were we. He's my 